Vintage Japanese Pokey Post. Let's go. <music> Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. I am so hyped today. Finally, we get to open some more Pokey Posts. It's been a while. Uh, I do apologize for the lack of regular Pokey Posts, but just been so busy. And uh, yeah, we've got some amazing things to open today. All the mail, all the other stuff that we received, like. All of the mail that, you know, bought some lovely people. And at the end of the video, we're also going to be opening two more booster packs of Brilliant Stars. Just because, you know, I haven't opened enough Brilliant Stars. There's always time to open Brilliant Stars. But I, I just love these. So I bought these um, from a UK seller, um, I think. And, uh, yeah, these are the um, Neo 1. I think So this is Neo 1. And I think this is the Neo 3 folder. So this would be, um, yeah, Neo... Um, not Destiny, not Discovery, Revelation. So this is Neo Revelation. We'll look at that first. And the Neo One. So in Japan, they 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 gave out or they sold so many of these, and a whole bunch of them also came to the UK. A lot of people, a lot of there was a lot of you people in the UK like importing these, and it contains obviously the the starters from the Neo, you know, the Genesis is back in the time, and these cards are absolutely beautiful. Not normally the um, the Hollows, obviously the. The Feraligator, the Typhlosion, and the Meganium are normally quite good condition. I haven't checked these, but they they look to be they look to be in like really really nice condition. There's, there's always going to be some hollow scratches, and you can see the Feraligator also potentially is kind of a bit off center. It's a bit thicker on the right, but um, these are absolutely beautiful. Um, and yeah, so many people had these. And look at look at that. Look at all that 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 vintage like Ken Sugimori, like Neo, like the old Pokemon like there. And then you've got like. Uh, this card thing and there's just look at this guys doesn't this just a scream 2000s 2001 like when pokemon gold and silver first came out this is absolutely beautiful i love these so that's the neo one folder um i wish i knew more about like the original price and the release and stuff but yeah that would have been around uh 1999 in japan and then neo 3 probably would have been like a year later for neo revelation so um, these aren't as um, normally purchased as much, but I think less of these came to the UK. Um, this obviously it's all about this Celebi. There are you know nine nice promos in there, but normally in time it's all about this Celebi that I think is exclusive to this folder. Um, and uh, yeah, this Celebi is also in a really really nice condition. Let's give it a sleeve as well. You can see there the uh, the beautiful like hollow pattern on the Celebi as well. Um, and uh, yeah, very happy to see that. Normally it's quite tough to get um, minty uh, sort of Japanese cards nowadays. So the promo binders are still a good option. Okay, I can't, it doesn't even fit in there. But the promo binders are still a nice option if you are ever looking to like, you know, look for, look for some... Um, like look for, look for like some just some Japanese cards that are normally in good condition. I'm probably going to end up also grading the uh, the doggos and probably the um, the Lugia and the uh, Ho as well. But yeah, this is Neo Free. Um, this isn't as nicely presented as the last one, but it's got all the energies of the Pokemon on the front, and it's still got the um, you know the doggos and like that that building in the background. I have no idea what's going on there, but that's really cool. So we've got the Celebi. Um, yeah. So also we got all of our mail over here. So. No idea what's in here. Um, I've ordered a bunch of stuff recently. There might be some, a lot. A lot of it might just be like tournament stuff. Thank you from uh, Chirpy Boss Cat. I think that's one of the people from our, our Discord server. If you're not already in our Discord server, please you know, click the link below and join the Playscape Games Discord. We've got an amazing community, over 400 members. Oh yeah, so I just purchased like a bunch of stuff for decks, like Moltreses, Wormadans. Because um, I have no idea what I'm going to need over the next few months. And, you know, there might be more fire support and sort of support in the future. So that stuff's all there. So they're mostly just going to be, like, playable hollows and stuff. I won't worry too much about that. Um, right, what's it? Oh, yeah, try not to show any addresses if possible. Um, so there should be some nice cards in here as well. But obviously then we get at the end of the video, we also get to open those two brilliant stars. Brilliant stars booster packs. Let's try to get so that side up look after them because we're getting mad glare at the top there. But yeah, how, hope you're all doing well. Please leave a comment below. Have you received anything epic in the mail recently? We've also got a show off your cards area in the uh, Discord server, so you can show off your Poke Post in there. So we've got nice Charizard V, Entire V, um, Raichu V. Yeah, just just some nice cards for decks. So I needed this Arceus as well for one of my decks. Um, I'm considering like two different Arceus decks for the um, upcoming big regional tournaments. If you're in Salt Lake City Regional Championships or Liverpool Regional Championships, please come, you know, say hello if, if you spot me. Right. Right. So we got here. Okay, so I've also wanted to be building Stonjourner because I wanted a rocked... So unfortunately there aren't that many good rock-type Pokemon. You may say, oh, but what about fighting types? There aren't any good actual rock-type Pokemon. Colossal and Stonjourner are really 
I think the only the only two you can go for in terms of like playing a rock type deck, like thematically a rock type deck. So at my uh, Pokemon club, um, we've got a thing where um, you challenge a gym leader, and, and one of my badges from the Champions Path gym badges, one of the badges is a rock type. So I needed some uh, Stodger and V's and uh, V Maxes to make like a rock type deck. So and there's a nice Entai there as well. Uh, what's in here? I wonder. Let's do some very careful surgery. I should have got my knife. I wasn't expecting to need to do much too much cutting. Um, for some reason, it's just okay. So we've got a nice some trainer cards. So these will just be like trainer cards and useful stuff for decks. If you need any uh, trainer cards for the upcoming Liverpool Regional Championships or any of the tournaments, please click the link below. Check out my card market. We've got so many trainer. I think we have mostly every single trainer card in stock at the moment for so like standard format. At least ones that people you know actually use in their decks. I don't put like you know Barry. I don't often list stuff like Barry and you know have time to like sort things that don't, people don't really use in their decks very often, but. We do have some more like obscure things like Turfield Stadium and Vitality Band. Uh, because less people are obviously going to use Vitality Band. And they got that new Choice Belt, which is really strong. It's just 30 damage. So let's see what's inside here. Oh god, this is really like... This is really like tape, cardboard. There must be something good in here with all this, all this packaging. Oh god, it's taped on the inside as well. It's actually taped on... They actually taped it on the inside as well. Oh my goodness, right. Struggle, struggle, struggle. Is it tape? Oh my goodness. One eternity later. Right, so we're back. We finally got into the into this, and there's even more tape on here. So I do appreciate the extra secure packaging, but way too much tape. <laughs> right, let's see what we got um, in here. So it looks like I saw a Mimic UV, so this might just be a bunch of useful, like, cards and stuff. Okay, it's a bit of a mixture of everything. Some nice... Oh, so I remember this. This was the Blissey V that I found. So what I bought, I found these on Card Market. Normally, when you get um, set the back, the back centering is pretty dodgy, but the front for some reason looks really good. So, yeah, I might get this one graded, but um, for some reason, when you order um, when you order cards from um, Card Market, so sometimes when you order cards from Card Market, they actually put the photographs up as well, so you can get like nice things like this beautiful Venusaur from Celebrations. Oh, and the special art. Genesec V, the breakdancing one. So in my deck, I use four copies of the... Um, in my Movie Max deck, I use four copies of the the one, um, the full art one, because they're a bit easier to spot out, but I really love the artwork on this. And this one is actually in a really nice condition. So yeah, very happy to see um, those two special art cards. I'll put them there in case we get anything less epic. The rest of it is just like more trainer cards and stuff for, for decks in my card market, which is cool. Right. Let's see what's... Uh, going on there right what's going on here okay some more cool stuff so yeah I just I just find a lot of bargains like on on card market sometimes just like groups of things like some Zashians some Suicunes more Suicunes some more Ludicolos right so this is cool guys this will be the I think this is the yeah this is the Metal Pikachu nice this is the Metal Pikachu from the Ultra Premium Collection. Obviously, we opened the Ultra Premium Collection, so if you want to see us open that, please click the click the link above. Um, right. So, um, there's bloody... What's with the packaging today? There's, there's literal cling film on here. Let's use a theme bag, people. Right, okay, okay. Right. How many... Okay, here we, here we go. Okay, okay, we got, we got a Metal Pikachu. So, Mint Keeper. I've not heard of that brand before, but... Uh, yeah, unfortunately PSA have stopped grading on these, but I think these are still quite underrated considering, um, yeah, there's a few marks on it here and there, but, um, like, I think these are still underrated considering, like, most of the hype and the attentions on the, the gold Charizard from the, um, from the Ultra Premium Collection, so you can sometimes get, like, um, some good deals on the, on the Pikachu if you, you know, if you look hard enough, but, yeah, I do like, I do like that gold metal Pikachu. Reminds me a lot of the Burger King, um, the ones from, do you remember, please leave a comment below if you remember these. Um, when Burger King, they did a toy promotion, like 2000s or, it would have been 2000 for the UK, yeah. 2000 for the UK or maybe very, very late 1999. Um, they did a Pokemon promotion, you got like a metal Pikachu Charizard and some other cards. But it wasn't like a full size card, like tinier cards, but in the Pokeballs, they were super popular. Um, okay, so we've got Flying Pikachu V, Surfing Pikachu D. The fourth Arceus that we need for our deck. Let's go. 
Cute to Dene and an Age of Slash. That's awesome. Thank you to that lovely person. So here we've actually got some Japanese Poke Pose. So this will be from our um, middleman shipping company, um, Tenso. So if you want to find out yourself how to um, buy cards directly from Japan, buy Pokemon booster boxes, um, send cards to get graded directly, please head to our our our, dis our Patreon. Check out the Patreon and uh, check out our comprehensive buying guide and some of our other guides that we posted. Right. So this will be a bunch of stuff from Tenso. So there's going to be some nice um, like cards in here, I think. So be extra careful with these ones because they're just they're in sleeves, but they're not in top loaders. So you need to be extra careful with these. So what we've got here is obviously the beautiful Arceus promo card, the one from the um, Pokemon Legends Arceus release. So you can see it's got the the logo there of Pokemon Legends Arceus. So. Um, not, unfortunately these seem to have print lines on like most of them seem to do but if all of them have print lines on them then it's it's going to be hard to get tens anyway so like nine will still be good of these in the future if I decide to grade these I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet but we're going to get these in English from a these Arceus V's in English from like a special from like a special box at some point but um, uh, the Arceus V collection box but um, yeah who knows what the print quality on those ones will be like and also these ones have more of a unique release um so what's in here? Okay, so we've got some, oh the Japanese Full Art Charizard Full Art Charizard V. So yeah, once again, um, I, you won't be able to see it on this bad camera, but there's like a print line. Um, you might be able to see a line going down the middle. Probably not on that camera. These have a lot of print lines. So that's the same with Starbirth. So these these Starbirth um, Japanese uh, Brilliant Stars were printed at the same time as these promos, and they have little they have print lines across the middle, which is quite sad, but. Um, still nice to pick those up, um, and we got some more um, Charizard V stars, Japanese like EV heroes, um, just at really you know really good prices because um, we're buying directly from Japan, obviously. Yeah, more Japanese EV heroes. I think wait, is this EV? These, so these are quick start. These are the starter decks, the quick start deck ones. So they might even be cheaper than the EV heroes. Um, so there's the Pikachu. I think I needed this for my personal collection. This is the Pikachu from. The quick starter decks, the start deck 100s um, that came out recently. So, two of those Pikachu's and some nice Flareons and a nice Sylveon. Very nice, nice ensemble of stuff there. Is one of these? I'm gonna check. Is one of these Umbreons? Is the um, is the non-hollow one? Let me check. No, these are just the regular ones. Okay, maybe there'll be some non-hollow Umbreons in another package. We'll have to see when we get there. Right, it's got a big black thing right on the screen here. There you go. <laughs> Right, so please leave a comment below. Have you received any epic mail in the post recently? Um, right, so I didn't order. I didn't just order a trap inch. There'll be more in here. Let's let's see what there is. Uh, okay, some Duraludon bits. So I needed those for um, an Arceus deck, and also I think my friend needed some Duraludons as well. So that's good. And um, last parcel before we open those brilliant Stars booster packs. Right, I'm not sure what's inside this one. Um, I've got a few quite nice things. It wasn't the most stacked Pokey post, uh, but we did. We will have a massive. Japanese Mail Day uh, Pokey Post coming soon, so keep an eye out for that. Um, right, let's have a look. We got Alakazam V. Oh, we got Alakazam V. Got a nice Skylar. Um, uh, there's a Snorlax V there. Another Mimikyu. And some Galarian Moltres Vs, which is awesome. Very happy to see those. But we're going to finish off. Uh, we've got our most epic. Um, things are, are these four here. We're going to finish it off. Um, open two packs of Brilliant Stars. Let's see if we can get anything WTF epic. How's Brilliant Stars been going for you guys? Um, it's been kind of hit and miss for the packs I've opened. I haven't opened any of the... Uh, wait, did I? Oh no, yeah, I opened up the Rainbow Arceus, but I haven't opened up the two Charizards, um, or the Gold... Or the gold um... Well, no, I did open the Gold Arceus. I did open the Gold Arceus, but it was a bit uh, it was a bit off-centered. I haven't opened any of the Charizards, but I haven't opened that many packs. Um, I think I've opened like 60-ish packs in total, so I'd love to know how your luck's been with, um, you know, Brilliant Stars so far. Fortunately, we're out of booster boxes on our website, but there is a restock hopefully coming at some point. They're always, they normally do a restock within like two months of a set coming out. Mewtwo and a Moltres. Another Moltres to go with those ones that I got earlier from Pokepage. Yeah, please leave a comment below. Let me know um, how your mail days have been. Let me know what you think of the... Um, you know the, the the Japanese folders. Do you think they're good value still? Even at the you know the prices have gone up in the past couple of years. I'd love to know, you know, what your thoughts are. I really love those Japanese folders. It's nice just getting fresher cards. Obviously those two weren't sealed, but the person who sold them to me obviously hadn't actually 
um, done anything in them yet. So it'll be interesting to see, you know, what they eventually if I get those cards graded, what grade they come at. Most of them should be eights or nines. Torterra. Oh, and a Rainbow Kibler. Let's go. Now that's some last pack magic. We only opened two packs, but that's a that's a nice piece of um, last pack magic there for this um, Pokey Post. But yeah. It's not all about that, to be honest. It's all about the, the Neo folders and this beautiful Celebi. Absolutely love these. Uh, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the video. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all. Thank you to these lovely people. They get exclusive market updates, Japanese buying guide videos, how to grade your cards directly with PSA and all sorts. Please click the link below and check out the PlayStation Games Patreon. And I'll see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them.